Welcome back everyone, Toy Shiz here, and I am back yet again to give you guys another Retro Shiz look back at the past, and today we're heading back all the way to 1996 for the Venom Saga Sam's Club Exclusive Special Collector Set by Toy Biz. Of course, based off Spider-Man the Animated Series is the Alien Costume Saga for this box set, though. Of course, they went with the Venom Saga, and I absolutely loved this three-part episode. Every single episode in season one was just a gem, and when it finished with Venom, and then finally kind of, in a way, season finale on the Hobgoblin, it was just the greatest. So, lo and behold, I'm sitting there one day on the Toy Biz toll-free customer service number, as one does, you know, when you're a little kid and you got nothing better to do. So, Back in the day for the Toy Biz number, you could dial, you know, they go, okay, press one for this, press two for this. So I think it was like press seven for store exclusives or just exclusives. You know, it's it's one of those things where you think back on these things and you go, wait, wait, like I wish somebody had this recorded. You know what I mean? So in either case, the lady says, a Sam's Club exclusive, the Venom Saga by Toy Biz. And lo and behold, I go, what the heck is Sam's Club? Never had been in a Sam's Club. He would ask my grandmother. I said, hey, we got to go to Sam's Club because there's a special Spider-Man set. She goes, why in the world would you ever want to go there? And to this day, I have never been in a Sam's Club. And that's the story about how I've never been in a Sam's Club. I mean, the Venom Saga. Anyways, we're looking at a box set that was, yes, a store exclusive there, and it wasn't until many moons later where I actually got the characters. So it was a nice window box packaging. You had all four characters, and on the side, of course, you had Spider-Man, the animated series, and the really nice Venom wording, the Venom Saga, which looks Great. And then on the back side, you got to see the characters and their bios and everything else with the proof of purchase, Toy Biz customer service number, yada yada. Now I know what you're thinking. Wait a minute. Symbiote Spider-Man. Yeah, that makes total sense. Kingpin, he wanted the Prometheum X. So yeah, he would work as a character in the saga. And then, yeah, obviously Venom is the end result of everyone's actions. But why is Octo Spidey in this set? Well, I have my theory on that. It's actually pretty simple, but we'll go over that when we look at the figure. Now, what about Rhino, right? Why not put Rhino in there? Or Shocker, right? We could do Shocker. Get back here, Shocker! Well, lo and behold, there was a second version, a running change, if you will, for the Venom Saga set for old Sam's Club, which did include a repainted brown rhino. And on the backside, we did get a different bio structure, including rhino this time, but no shocker, not even Alistair Smythe. You know what I mean? We could have gone that route. And the fact that they took out Symbiote Spider-Man for this set is mind boggling to me. But in either case, we're gonna have some fun today. Sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot retro cup of coffee. This is a look Back at the 1996 Spider-Man, the animated series, the Venom Saga, Sam's Club exclusive by Toy Biz. And of course, here's everyone out of their respective box sets. Really nice looking figures. And of course, for the most part, just reissues, redecoed figures that we had gotten prior. And we'll go ahead and we'll start it off with the Kingpin, the Kingpin of crime and this guy big bulky brick of a figure the only real difference for this set is that he had darker pants darker blue which is not animated series accurate whereas the first release in the standard spider-man line did have the correct lighter blue same exact cane little diamond on the cane right there he held it well now he may have a little bit darker purple in the ascot and a little pocket square but for the most part it's just the pants and he had the same exact articulation legs arms he had the little button on the back of his back where yeah you would put the arms up and you could slam them down right there on his desk or spider-man's face whatever you wanted to do looks good painted well definitely recommend getting it moving on to rhino again like the kingpin while it's a really cool repaint to go that route He's not show accurate at all, whereas the first release was barely show accurate, but this one is just totally off the chain in terms of anything that looks like the animation. This time coming around as 
brown with some yellow, a black horn. He still does the whole rhino gouging action with this big, huge lever on his back, of course. Same exact articulation on him. The arms would go up, the legs would go up. Nothing at the head, nothing at the waist, nothing else. So while the paint, it's it just basically serves as something different to get a different look of the rhino comic book in some aspects. But in either case, I don't really care for this coloring on him. Moving on to Octo Spidey. Not much to be said here in terms of Octo Spidey. It's basically the same exact Octo Spidey that we got in the normal Spider-Man line. And I'll tell you this, just go real easy with this guy with his little purple wires right here. So old now, they do have a tendency to break, just FYI. But really nice bendy wire tentacles, same exact Spider-Man body, same exact articulation. And I really feel that, yes, it's weird to put Octo Spidey in a Venom Saga set, but it's really just to put a Spider-Man in there with a clever gimmick so kids could have something to play with. Of all the Spider-Mans, yeah, I would say this is a very fun one to have. Just take off the harness and bingo bango you would have a Spider-Man that's perfect, ready and willing to get that alien costume from the Hudson. And what better way to look at that than with this gorgeous highlight of the entire two box sets right here. This is the symbiote Spider-Man we all wanted. He's not show accurate in the sense of he does have the dots on his hands, but he is that normal Spider-Man the Animated Series body with the black costume on him. And painted well, he is. Now, I'll show you in just a second how the eyes differentiate, but he does have good articulation. You could do all the Spider-Man poses from the early 90s, and he just looks solid. None of that retractable symbiote nonsense in his chest, noise making, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Which, after the entire saga concludes, we are finally left with Eddie Brock's Venom, or Venom 2, how in the main line he was called. And I'm gonna tell you this all day. This is a great Venom figure. Light on the articulation for some of you who prefer a more articulated Venom. Not exactly cartoon accurate in the sense of he has the red and the blues, and he also has the dots on his hand, whereas in the animated series it was just the white patches. And just to let you know, I've seen this guy a dozen times, dozen different packagings. Now like the Venom 2 figure, yeah, we did have a yellow haired, blonde haired Eddie Brock. In as many photos as I've seen and scoured and tried to look at to really differentiate it, there are photos shown with the Venom Saga having an Eddie Brock with a more orangey reddish kind of tint to his hair that would really differentiate it, you can see in these photos. Now, I don't know if they turned up the saturation all the way up, because as you can see, yes, this was the blonde haired version. So there is an orange haired one I believe as well. So if you got that variant, let me know in the comments down below. I would like to get one eventually. Of course, it's not something that you know I absolutely need to have, but you know, in a Spider-Man the Animated Series completionist sort of way, I kind of do. But in either sense, it's a good looking Venom. Head goes right back on and you're ready for the Venom Saga. Now to show you the distinctive details between all these figures, you can see the original release of the Rhino had a more blue tone to him, which matches the animated series. He didn't have all these little bumps and bruises and everything all over him, little dots, but it's still a good looking Rhino. If anybody knows, this was a pain to find in the stores, whereas this new version is a more brown version of the Rhino. They're both great in the sense, yeah, they have the working gizmos, but I'll take the more bluish gray Rhino over the two of these any day, but it's still nice to have a variant. Likewise with the Kingpin. Now the original release, as I said, had the lighter blue pants, which yes, does match the animated series much better, but you could always say this is Kingpin at night or when he's sitting in the limo making deals with Norman Osborn. I don't know, you know, you could figure it out, but in either case, it's a little bit different of a kingpin in the sense of the coloring. He still does all the wacky actions where he slams his arms down. The same exact cane with the diamond on the top. So you're good with either of them, but I would say go with the lighter blue pants to be more animated series accurate. Which finally brings us to the mainstay, as I said, from the box set. I really liked the black costume Spider-Man. You know, even with the gizmo in his chest, it's still a very fun figure. 
But this is the one that we really wanted. That's the body type that we wanted. Even as a kid, I was like, why does he have such a big chest with the gizmo and everything else sticking out of it? It was just an odd choice to him. And yes, if you were wondering, this thing still works. Oh, God, it's like nails on a chalkboard, it is. Anyways... The eyes, though, I think between the two of them, I would go with the more gizmo black costume Spidey. You can see the difference of the chest and everything else to put that thing in there. So in either sense, if we could somehow swap the heads, you'd have the ideal black costume symbiote Spider-Man. So that's going to wrap it up for my look back at the 1996 Toy Biz, the Venom Saga box sets that were exclusive to Sam's Club. And I'm curious to know what you guys think about these figures. Do you have them? Did you go to Sam's Club and get them? Or did you take my route and kind of get them piecemeal <laughs> later on in life? And have you ever been inside a Sam's Club? Now that I make this video, I need to find a Sam's Club and, uh, and get to one ASAP to really experience it, right? So I'm curious to know what you guys think. Comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything Spider-Man the Animated Series and the Alien Costume Saga. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, yeah, if you ever do come across that more orangey-haired Eddie Brock Venom, do keep old toy shiz in mind. Toyshiz at gmail.com. I'm interested in talking to you about it. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.